Wondering how to be more productive and get more done? In this video, I'll show you how to use a free website called Airtable to be more productive both at school and at home. For music education tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every week when I post a new video. So I'm going to show you what my daily to do workspace looks like inside Airtable. I used to use a paper like to do list that I could, you know, just write down every day what I needed to do. Um, but then the paper that I had always used, the person selling it was no longer selling it. And then I found Airtable and I love that I can actually save paper by using this. So if you look here, Here's my workspace and I have tabs for uh, home and school for each day. So Monday at school, Monday at home, Tuesday at school, Tuesday at home. And then if you click the arrow over, you'll see the rest of it. What I really love about this, as opposed to using the paper that I used to use at school, is that I can have a Saturday and Sunday tab, whereas before I was just using my paper at school. And then when I came home, I was a little bit of a mess because I had to use a different system. So with this, everything is all in one location. And I really love having a daily to-do like this because sometimes on Monday, you think about something that you don't really need to do on Monday. You could wait a couple days, but it does need to get done in a couple days. So then you can go to Wednesday's tab and put it there. All right, so um, this is actually my um, tab for the first day of school I have this week because Monday we have the day off. Um, and the really cool thing about this is that you can put your task here. And then here I have a bunch of things that, um, you know, I might use throughout the week. Some of them I wouldn't necessarily use at school, but it's just things that I, I need to do throughout the week. And I also love this reoccurring uh, category here because there are certain things that I will have to do every Tuesday or maybe I have to do it every day. And that way, um, once I'm done with it and I am deleting the tasks from it, I make sure to keep all the ones that say school are reoccurring so I can go through here and like go through all of these and right click and delete them for next Tuesday. Um, but then the reoccurring ones, I would just make sure that nothing is checked here so that I can keep them on there for next week, if that makes sense. So I have the, um, the task here, the type, you know, what kind of category it is. If I'm working on it, there's a checkbox, which is awesome. I love, love that checkbox. And if I'm done with it. And then, you know, once I get home, then I can check my to-do list for Tuesday. And it just really keeps me sane when I know exactly what I need to do for that day. So I'm going to show you how to create a new workspace. So when I log into Airtable, this is what I see. There are some sample workspaces that they give you, but then you can also create your own. And you can also collaborate with other people, which is really awesome. And then you're sharing the workspace. But I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch in case you want to try this to-do list. You're going to go to Add a Base. And then I am just going to start from scratch. This seems to work better. And I'm just going to put sample, but you can obviously do like to-do list or however you want to, you know, if you wanted to use that as an icon or if you want to do that as an icon or whatever you want to do, I'm going to use the checkbox. All right. And then I'm going to double click it. All right. So right here, this is like your tabs, kind of like you would have in Google Sheets. Um, so here is where you could put Monday at school. And then um, here, if you want to change this to task, you can, or however you want to name that. Single line text works well, but if you see here, there are all these different types of fields that you can have, but I will leave it as single line text and hit save. Then I'm going to do working on question mark, which I like to have that because sometimes I'm in the midst of doing it and I have started work on it and I just want to indicate that to myself. And then I'm going to change this to checkbox. Hit save. Here I'm going to do done question mark and again make it a checkbox. Hit save and there we go. But I do want to show you there are some really cool categories here. Um, you can 
um, a little bit more advanced as you can link to other records. You could have longer text. You could have an attachment, like if you had a PDF or an image or something that you wanted to include in the Airtable, you could do that. Um, you can have, this is what I have for, oh, I should show you that, um, like for, you know, the type of task it is. So you could add like home, school, um, you know, if you're on a committee or something, you could put that. Like I said, you could add reoccurring, really anything that you know, you might use. And again, you'll want to put what you would do at home and at school. I would go ahead and add all of your categories that you want to that first tab, even if, you know, you're not going to use one of the tabs when you're at school, because then what you can do after you hit save is you can go to duplicate table, go ahead and duplicate records. And then when you do that, all of those categories will be there so that you don't have to recreate them. So this one I can change to Monday at home. And then do Tuesday at school, Tuesday at home, Saturday, Sunday, all of that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my Airtable just so you can see. After you have created it, um, and like I said, let's say Tuesday at home, okay, I've done this, I've done this. Um, this is actually to post the video that I am currently recording on YouTube. All right, so let's say I've done all of that and I've you know indicated that to myself. Then let's say Wednesday is next. Well, I can go ahead and move this over on Wednesday so that Tuesday at home is at the end and then the Wednesday at school is the very first tab. I just like to do that because it's a lot easier to find the tabs, but you could do it without doing that. If you just wanna go ahead and navigate yourself, you could do that. And I should say that there is an Airtable app. On the Airtable app, it is even easier to move these tabs around than it is on the website, but it's not too hard on the website. You could also add a priority if you wanted to like if you have this is a pretty long to-do list um, so if you wanted to add a priority um, maybe you could do single select and have like one would be most important two three four five and then hit save and then if you know like um, oh my god goodness my ukuleles are so out of tune I really need to do that you can go ahead and do that um, or, you know, changing the batteries in my Uptonaton is not super important, but my kids keep asking me about it. <laughs> Go ahead and do three for that. Um, I definitely need to do my agenda, do one for that. You know, that way, you, as you're looking at your to-do list, you can get all of the ones that are one, done, then two, then three, and so on. So that's it. It's Airtable is just a really great way to keep track of projects and to do tasks and to-do lists and all of that. There's a lot more you can do with it as a music teacher, but I just wanted to show you this is one way that I keep saying so that I can go ahead and check off what I'm doing. It just makes it so much easier when I'm, you know, in my planning period, being able to look at that list and knowing what I need to do. I will be talking about Airtable as well as some other tips to stay productive on my next podcast episode, which as you're listening to this is probably already out. If you haven't checked out my podcast, you can go to iTunes, search The Music Room, and you can listen within iTunes. And you can also go to my blog at Mrs. Miracle's Music Room and click on podcasts and look for podcasts there. I will also link to my podcast and to Airtable below. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, comment with any questions, and feel free to share it with other music teachers. Thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.